So guys, it's heating up now when it comes to the Black China and versus Kardashians court case because it looks like we're getting some transcripts from Michael Rhodes, who is the attorney that is defending the Kardashians. And it seems that he's coming with ammunition with an argument when it comes to Black China versus Kylie Jenner. It looks like Kylie Jenner is being shoved into the threshold of these arguments already immediately hey guys it's Marab Marali hope you guys are doing well today back at it again it is daily and consistent content if you haven't subscribed guys click that button it is daily and consistent content I just said my intro twice guys um consistent and persistency baby let's get into this video just as my beard is looking absolutely sharp my hair is an absolute mess now guys i put oil in my hair shout out to those of you who put oil in your hair hair and shout out to those who don't use shampoo every single day because that can damage your hair a lot and we need to really stop doing that because we don't know what these chemicals are so i put oil in my hair for the last four hours and i'm gonna wash it out soon um but that's why my hair is looking a little bit just imagine madness right now but the beard i just got done skin is Wow. Anyways, let's get into this video. We have transcripts that are coming out basically, um, you know, during her six hour testimony, nearly six hour testimony, Black China was there. She admitted that her connection with the Kardashian family was complicated. And Tiger comes into the equation. Her ex Tiger started dating Kylie Jenner in 2014 and two years later she would be engaged to Rob Kardashian. There was a lot of cheating on Tiger's part, which caused the breakup, China said. The relationship stopped when Kylie started dating Tiger, my fiance at the time, she said. During the cross-examination, Michael Rhodes asked her, do you have a grudge against Kylie Jenner? She took your boyfriend? Black China sighed at the question and replied, I have no ill will against none of the ladies, actually. Chloe, Kim, Kylie and Chris, who sat in the front row and behind their attorney, remained motionless and silent throughout most of China's testimony. When Tiger was mentioned and when, you know, it was mentioned that, you know, Kylie Jenner took him from Tiger, um, took him away from um, Black China, um, Kylie Jenner, she looked down and, you know, just sighed. Um, either she looked annoyed by the situation or irritated. Now, I don't want to say that Tiger, that Kylie took Tiger because at that time of their relationship when that was developing way back then, Kylie, I believe, was underage. So technically speaking, she can't have taken anybody because she's of underage and Tiger for even going to a girl who's underage is very weird behavior and very odd. And for Chris, the mother, allowing that, again, it's all very odd behavior. So the language of, you know, um, she took the boyfriend doesn't make any sense to me because she was of underage. And, you know, whether you're a fan of somebody or not, doesn't change the facts that they were of underage and clearly they didn't um, take somebody. Um, yeah. Okay. China's um, side again. The aspiring lawyer Kim, who was dressed in a tailored tan suit and white sneakers, sc was scribbling down messages, guys, on a pad and periodically passed it back to a member of her legal team who sat directly behind her. Now, of course, you know, Kim has a legal background. She's trying to become a lawyer, you know, so all of that prep that she'd been doing, you know, passing the bar exam finally and everything, I believe that will aid her and give her ammunition when it comes to her own court case, obviously. So she's doing even her own separate kind of prep for it. Um, when asked during the cross-examination if um, she, Black China had tried to file an application to trademark the name Kardashian, China said Rob told her to go ahead because they were going to get married anyway. China said the trademark was never filed after her former attorney suggested it initially. Michael Rhodes also then questioned China about the incident um, on December 14, 2016. And of course, at this point, it was something that I discussed last night was when, you know, China testified and she said that she was just joking about pointing a gun at Rob's head. Now, initially, she did, she did class it as self-defense a while ago, and now she's changed it to just joking. So which one is it, China? Which one is it? Um, you know, it is a legal case. So we have to try, like, how can I say this? Listen, I like to be objective um, and not biased, but we're all human and, you know, it's impossible to not be biased. I obviously want China to win this case personally, but at the same time, we have to put them both on level playing field. And, you know, if I'm poking holes in the Kardashians' legal um, stories or arguments, I'm going to do the same for China because it doesn't make sense that one minute is self-defense and one minute now you're saying that you're just joking. Um, but, yeah, but it, perhaps she's quickly explained this whole situation so that it doesn't get further examined. Um, he responded and said, under oath, you are denying pointing the gun. Michael Rhodes is coming very hard at China, guys. He's coming very hard at China because I didn't point the gun at him, China replied. China also said that she did not violently pull an iPhone wire cord. She, um, someone said you placed, she said you played, ah, not someone. Michael Rhodes said you placed a lawyer on his neck. Or you placed a cord on his neck. Sorry, guys, I'm fasting. Um, she responded and said, yes. 
Um, the cord was touching his skin, he said. She said that was just a joke. It was just a joke. So here are the transcripts, guys, that are coming from what I discussed last night. And I've, you know, um, I wanted to get into this. Um, when Rhodes pulled up a declaration where China stated she and Rob broke up in December 2016, the model tried to backtrack on her statement. No, the relationship did not end in 2016. We were still engaged. I split, meaning I left Kylie's house. Yes, we were still 100% engaged. Rhodes will continue his cross-examination on China of, you know, later on today. So this was obviously that took place last night. More of the information has been released via US Weekly, page six, all these articles, and we're seeing transcripts of everything going on. And you can see that Michael Rhodes is doing his job as a lawyer, as an attorney, and is grilling China hard. It looks like it's she's taking the stand first. And then the Kardashian girls, remember, she, remember guys, she legally won a small little win in terms of being able to depose all of the girls. So Chris, Chloe, Kylie, Kim, they are all going to take the stand. They are all going to be questioned horrifically, I believe, by China's at attorney like Michael Rhodes is coming forth for China. And, you know, this is just the beginnings. So if all this information is coming out now, what are they going to get grilled by? This, this case, guys, is giving. Listen, this case is messy as hell. This case is coming out with a lot of information. And, you know, I wonder what all of these girls are going to be saying as well when they all get questioned. Interesting, interesting, interesting. We do have um, several new um, sketches as well. And we can see that some of the girls, um, all of the girls, Kardashian girls are all color coordinated, weighing brown. And then obviously we have China, um, if I pull up the picture, let me look at myself as well. And then we have China in black, I believe as well. And you know, so they painted her um, as if she's looking quite stressed um, by the situation. You're seeing um, Chloe obviously there. And then you're seeing Kim obviously really analyzing the situation or whether that's Chloe I simply don't know but looks like they're color coordinated um, perhaps that could be I definitely feel like that's a manipulative kind of psychological effect when you're in a courtroom it's all about psychology it's all about all about psychology guys and the way you dress is definitely a huge factor and I think all of them wearing the same color was probably something that was used maybe so it could be hard for China to distinguish between each person in a weird kind of way once you're under all that stress. I don't know, but it's definitely a psychological effect behind it, 110%. So, you know, transcripts, um, I believe we're gonna see a lot more. She's going to be questioned again later on um, today. So more information is gonna be coming out, so I'll stay on top of that. And you know, she was on the stand guys for six hours yesterday. Six hours, Kylie looked irritated when the Tiger stuff came into question, but I don't think that she took Tiger in a way, I think it's wrong to say that because she was not of age. And Tiger was very weird for that. Leaving China to go for an underage girl. What is wrong with you, you weirdo? Like, who does that? Who does that? Anyways, let me know your thoughts are, guys, when it comes to this video. Subscribe to the channel. Click that button. It is daily and consistent content, guys. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Um, yeah. I put up seven videos last night, guys. That was a world record for my channel. The, the highest I put out is six. So to put out seven, I'm crazy, crazy. Do check out my Love Island interview with Rachel. It has gone viral um, with articles everywhere. Um, and Love Island have even responded themselves. So, you know, another interview that's just gone crazy. And I think that it's just interesting to see. So do check that out. I'm gonna link it at the end of this video. Watch that, support me. Um, head over to my TikTok, my... Um, Instagram as well, and I will catch you guys soon for another video.